This is the South Boulder Creek Park Run. I have done this park run two different times in the last few months. The first time I ran 1631 and the second time I ran 1556. Today, I want to break the course record of 1539. Can I get the job done? Let's find out. Two, one, go. Is right folks we are not messing around we are getting right into it without much intro at all so yes this is me with my insta 360 on taking an absolute stab at this course record of 1539 but folks we have company one of the competitors in the park run who was actually also volunteering decided to run the first part of the race with me and just hang on to me for as long as they possibly could which i respect super super hard so just for him to be able to hang on was incredible but i took this thing out hot people I wanted to attack that course record and do all I could to break it. And this is not a fast course, as you guys are going to see throughout this park run. The first part is on this nice path, but eventually it becomes a very windy dirt path on the other side on the way back. So this is going to be the first time you guys are going to see the full course, which is absolutely epic. But we are a little over half mile into this 5K and I was feeling, you know, a little bit tired out from the gates because I am doing 90 plus mile weeks but right here, we are going to be officially moving over to the Insta360 for a little while. But yes, like I was saying, I've been doing 90 mile weeks for the last three weeks. And my first massive 10 mile race is going to be in about three weeks. It's called the Twin City 10 miler. But boom, we go right around this corner right here. And this is where my cameraman is going to say goodbye to me for a little while as he's not able to film in the woods. But do not worry, folks. I will have you guys covered as we head on into the woods. This is the windy part of the course that's just hard to move quickly on, but you can see I was still moving quick and that guy was still behind me, but this is where I wanted to make a hard move. I find that on these windy areas, it's hard to move quickly and you can oftentimes lose your pace. So I had to keep really pushing hard and making a mental note to push hard. We're gonna speed it up a little bit as we continue through this windy section and we're going to have to start going by other recreational runners, which is going to be a factor throughout this 5K as well. Another one right over there went by. And now we're going to see my cameraman for just a second over here once I cross over this bridge. So we are a little over four minutes into this race now and I was feeling better and better throughout this thing and you know even though it's on the dirt right here you can see the pace is slowing down to more like 505 pace you know I still knew that I was running hard running fast again this isn't the fastest course and it's just so beautiful at the same time let's get a little shout out to how gorgeous this area is but we finally come up to mile one running a 451 which is by far the fastest I've ever gone out on this course and now the second mile I'm gonna just tell you guys it's a little bit more difficult than the first you know it's more on this trail section as well as it's a little bit uphill I must say not too uphill but just a little bit windy and a little bit hilly but for just a moment my cameraman is going to intercept me and be able to follow me but not for too long as bikers are not really allowed to be on this dirt path I'm gonna pass these two walkers and continue to motor through as we are a little over a mile into this thing now but again I'm gonna have to say goodbye to my cameraman and rely solely on the insta 360 for the next big chunk of this race also a massive shout out to soar I was wearing their sick uniform that they sent me in this video as you guys can see it's really sick and they have a bunch of amazing apparel so if you guys are interested in any source of i'm going to leave a link down below for their products i really love them and you know it's just super bougie super nice and i will be wearing that jersey probably in my next official race because i think it looks sick but anyway back to this park run we are about halfway through the thing at this point and we have sped this up again because it is a lot of just this path for a long period of time before i'm going to turn around a little after i reach two miles but my favorite part of the course is coming up i think it's absolutely stunning what you're about to see it's super unique super cool try to guess down below what you're about to see maybe you guys know maybe you don't but we're about to find out yes 
It is a small little tunnel you go through and I was wearing sunglasses so I could literally barely see when I was running through this thing. I was also a little bit scared that I was going to get hit by an oncoming bike but luckily I didn't. But yes, as you can see at the end of the tunnel there's the beautiful flat iron mountains in front of you which motivates you to continue to push hard. It's also a little bit uphill right here as this biker whips by me but mile two was a 507 so we're 958 through two miles so I did slow down quite a bit on mile two but again it's such a slow mile that you know I wasn't complaining here is that turnaround point where I completely have to stop and you can see my pace goes all the way down to about 520 pace even slower as I stop but we were able to pick it right back up to under five minute pace again here go. So that was the guy who was in second place who was actually not too far behind me which is really impressive but now that it's an out and back part of the course i'm going to be having to run by the runners who are behind me which gets a little bit sketchy especially in this tunnel right here and right here i literally could barely see and there was someone walking their dog in there that i almost ran right through but luckily i did not but yes it gets very crowded at this point into the park run and it i wouldn't say it's annoying but it's definitely a little bit sketchy especially when i'm in alpha flies trying to rip on this loose dirt gravel path and you know at the same time though it is awesome being able to just be supported by all these people who are cheering me on and i'm trying to give them thumbs up and sort of just acknowledge that they're really being awesome to me and you know that's what this event is all about it's all about the community it's about showing out and having fun and trying to achieve personal best and trying to achieve course records by the way we are definitely on pace to potentially break this course record as i've only got around 0.3 miles to go now you can see i'm running around 455 ish pace and i knew that this thing was almost finished so i was trying as hard as i could to just rip 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 and yes again the course record it's 1539 so it's going to be pretty close if we're going to get it but i was definitely feeling confident and really good this deep into the race we are really getting close to three miles and we're about to hit it in a time of 1454 so 456 on that mile and now i knew that i was basically right by the finish line so it was a rip to the finish 1505 and we're really close to being done with this thing guys i think we're gonna smash that course record but let's find out what we are going to officially run folks Fifteen twenty-one, baby over a minute faster than when i first did this park run four months ago i know it's just a park run but i love going out and doing hard efforts for these things thank you to the meet organizers right here and the volunteers go do your local park runs they're free i wanted to see what the altitude conversion was for this park run so i put in all my information and found out that it was around a 1447 sea level effort so a 1447 on a difficult course like this is really encouraging and I think I could run pretty low 14s on a fast course right now. 